Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Starkiller here and we're back in our Stellaris Star Wars playthrough. Last time we just, I think we kept just building up our forces and economy. Everything is now finally starting to stabilize a bit. Uh, the only way I had to do it was to uh, unfortunately make it have some species better citizenship. Not full citizenship so it doesn't affect our factions, fortunately. Um, the, uh, I forget which uh, ability it is, yeah that with uh, have full citizenship so it's still all right and it's still enough to balance our economy so fortunately that's good news um there was peace between the confederate remnant and iridu authority although it came at great cost the confederate remnant now has control of iridu and with that they control the galactic market i believe i believe it was here um or maybe it was moved towards the new capital i'm not sure really um I did see it there last time, so that's just where it was. So that's just, yeah. It's currently the Trade Federation. I didn't realise it changed into there. Well, speaking of the Federation, we will soon begin our assault on them. That's right. Hopefully, in this episode, we'll be going to war with them. I just need to build up some ground forces, and we'll be all set, which I'm currently doing at the moment. So yeah, the Iridu Authority definitely needs assistance. They cannot do this alone can offer them protectorate standards or demand tribute so the form will go ahead. so we can just do something to help increase uh, defenses with them as well um, in exchange for them so the overall page Overlord by a pay 80 cent. We could offer protectorate status. I'm not sure about that yet. Um, or demand that they become our tribute as well. So, just mainly because they came off of that war as well. I believe also the um, Zabrak Council up here was also very friendly for us. We cannot form packs with them but they're unfortunately at war so we'll plan to help them join the empire once they're ready first things first though we have a situation on readily an important situation that the emperor must help us deal with a jedi has been spotted so we have to deal with him dispatch a ground troop force with a general which i'm currently building troops anyway over in delhi as part of our trade federation invasion so I'll wait until that's prepared. Um, I'm going to keep things slow just so that will be uh, all right in the case of that. So Imperial forces have claimed a new planet. There is also seems to be a, a Iridu Authority rebellion. Unfortunately. So yeah. Or at least form the non-aggression pact. I don't want them attacking any adjacent territories subordinates to us so my um also you're probably noticing why my thing is down uh, quite a lot um i managed to build some new ships so it's costing me a lot of hyperfuel and they're quite big ships behold our <laughs> we managed to get some of our battle cruisers operational and don't they look good it's a bit weird how uh, Stellaris is always like this. So, I think they're offering protector requests already, actually. So, so yeah, we already have uh, the uh, Allegiance class Star Destroyers operational. They will greatly assist us. I mean, really greatly assist us once attacking the Trade Federation. 17k fleet power and like their nearest stuff doesn't have that much. The Federation appears to be in Karelian territory as well for some odd reason. So we'll keep an eye on that. So yeah, they'll be able to wipe out the enemy completely from that. So I can't wait for that to happen. So just look how good they are. <laughs> it's a bit weird, the fanarchy of uh, can I get them to dock actually at our station? Where's the station? Because I don't want them eating up the thing. We need to deal with this Jedi. How quickly is our th force ready? 
20 seconds. He was gonna dis From our empire at the cost of some of their independence, the Black Sun wants protection from us. He was gonna dis So I'll just check quickly, what's the difference between the Protectress and the Tribute? If they're minimal in energy, in the overall... Once they reach 50% of their overall, it's tech level. So, I mean, we could just demand for them to be our thing as well. Hmm, so... That's also an opportunity. But we need to deal with this Jedi. Imperial scientists have new advancements to show us. There we go. The Jed. I think we have to assign a general to it first before we can capture him. Um. This general will do. Okay, so now that's good. Now we can research that project. Quickly dealing with this Jedi. Fortified districts. Oh, I want that be. Imperial Navy Command Center as well. Um, sure, I want to see what that is. More is up and running, that's good news. Hostile fauna will be an issue to deal with, unfortunately. Jedi was killed in public. Hmm. Obviously, our strike managed to district, capture the Jedi. Unfortunately, she used her mind tricks. Outside, we tried to take it down, but every plasma bowl was deflected. One of our soldiers used a thermal detonator that killed her, but also damaged a house full of people. Unfortunate, but the Jedi has been dealt with, so... Just makes the population more sad, I suppose. It was unfortunate. This causes crime to skyrocket a bit. Have I not got a crime thing? To keep crime down on the Red Delhi, actually. The pre-dinged houses. Apparently not. We'll get that down to help Rindeli. I'll probably have a hyper fuel thing and uh, yeah. Help increase that too. Good. Now that the Jedi is dealt with, we can sort out everything else. Our builders have completed their assignment. We've also managed to upgrade our shipyard above Coruscant so it'll be ready to construct it all of our crews. New cruisers and ships operational. Yeah, we're now sorting out this abandoned separatist base in our territory, so. We can demand tribute from the E2 authority as well. Already becoming a good superpower We've for us. The transmission. We shall route it to you at your request. Very well, very well. The E2 authority can now be brought in under us, I believe. In the value of them. And what was it? Uh, let me just share. Bring in the authority under our protection for the Empire. Research complete. Good. Imperial scientists have new advancements to show us. We've received a transmission. 
We shall route it to you at your request. Patience was in. Oh. System reconnaissance has been completed. I'm gonna love that, Majesty. Okay, well, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I've got another bloody thing. Comet sired through the belt, that's cool. Still got some forces prepared. We are almost ready for war. Can I not just demand their vassalization? Empire grows. Good. Having them having to pay for that stuff for that would be much better for Imperial rule, of course. Oh, we can get golden platforms. That's so cool. I didn't even realize. That's that's awesome. Uh, I'm going to focus on the heavy vehicles facility so we can actually get some vehicles. I didn't realize that we have to actually build more factories in order to get better units. That's kind of cool. I like that change. I think we're almost ready for war now, actually. Some troops are still being built at Rendelli, though. Oh, I think that's... That then, is it? We can get all these tie strikers and that, but we need the heavy vehicles factory first. Okay, so we have a general and that fleet. So the fleet is about 143. We'll still, I think it still needs some more for um, assaults on the enemies. So. Couple more transports there shall do the trick. Need to make sure not to forget about this world because it's just getting started. So, I'll get the predinct house first so we can help keep crime down and that. Gotta be careful when we go to war. Where their enemies are positioned. The Federation keeps moving their f ships through our territories, unfortunately. Okay. Let's get our next fleet here. Let us prepare for battle. We must move before anybody strikes a deal with the Federation. And brings them into defense, even with defense packs. That's why we must target them, because they are on their own. I wonder if we should just declare the war of bringing them in the fold. Fair. As they will join compliance board, they will be obliterated. Maybe? Almost ready for war, but uh, what's this? Something about the Thousand Moons. The Zone planet, uh, according to the anagram of the spirits of the frontier, Aigo, and its thousand moons, of the legendary immortal angels. Really? Oh, this really done the fate of wow. Name of, of the Ash Worlds. The locals. Droll. They can ask. We can ask about Droll. Sure. Let's learn about Droll. None of the locals in talking to us. <laughs> I wonder why. Oh, Droll. Oh, I can't believe the event chain of that. Challenge Droll. Wait, well, Droll is still here. Wow, I can't believe it's doing that bit about Droll. <laughs> uh, our numbers. Orders. We can attempt to destroy the Droll facility. Or a salvage what can be saved from draw. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see what we can salvage, but at what cost? 
Limbs lost in service are never wasted. Unfortunately, they got injured. But we did gain some stuff from draw. From the draw facility. That's so cool. <laughs> wow. Our forces are almost prepared for war now. Everything is mobilized and in position. This Federation fleet is withdrawing away for some reason. Maybe into their own territory. We'll have to keep an eye on them, just in case. The two Praetorian Allegiance battle cruisers shall converge on their capital, where their completed shipyard remains. And this force shall attack from each side, strong enough to take on the stations themselves, and that's all they have in the area. The Federation fleets is just patrolling everywhere, but... Calculating jump. They just split off everywhere, which is odd. I believe the transport fleet is, should now be strong enough. 289. 289, let's check out some of the planet's defences. Well, let's go look at the capital, because I probably might uh, see the armies. The army's garrison is only 83, so they should be able to wipe them out easily. I think we're prepared for war now. Something that's meant to be a museum, but instead a temporary storehouse. Keep proceeding. Let's learn all we can from the war. Breeding house is coming up, that's good news. Keep an eye on these worlds once we are ready, but yeah. I think it's time to bring the Federation into the fold now. Our war goal shall be the uh, bring him into the fall thing where they must be s forced to serve us. So. But I think our forces are all but ready now. Federation fleets are gathered here so we must be cautious. Technically I could just run, apart, run rampant with my two allegiance cruisers. They have 17k power. And I only get up to 3 or 5k from the stations themselves. 6k there, so Kate and Moidia is about 5k, so we've got more than double for the station, so technically the Allegiance forces can mobilize in, capture each system, while I keep both of my fleets here, in counter for whatever the Trade Federation forces are doing. Because we don't know what's the, what's their, where their fleets are going. So, alright then. It's time for the Federation to come into the fold. We are at war. We shall be decisive in victory and merciless in our instruction. Good. To war then. Now see, they're just coming for us. Why do their fleets just Reserve keep getting scattered? It's so weird. Some kind of vast. Oh wow. Well, uh, there's a creature in them. There's a Leviathan in the Moor system. Can that just be any more placed perfectly in there? That's so funny. The Moor is not to be messed with. I just love how it's in the Moor itself, you know. Oh, we can get Star Fortresses. Hell yes. Forces are bringing weapons to bear on a hostile field. Um, colonism, I'll some homes and I'm infested with serpents and mini structures. Power. The report you requested, Commander. How did a ship get past to Balmora? How did that get through? How did that cruiser get through? A 
that's fine, we'll just send it through there. Or is it I need to send about more of them? Is it timed? I don't think so, so we can deal with that later. How did that cruiser get past? Federation is heading through down to my allies. Worrisome. They seem to be intercepting them well, though. There are no forces around here. The rest of my force, the fleets, can move in into Separatist territory. An Imperial shipyard is under attack. I mean, it matches, but we might as well destroy that capital ship once it arrives. Consider this station destroyed, Commander. Good work. Got an acclimator for this fleet as well, because why not? Cruiser was taken care of, excellent. But now other ships are making their way through. Whoosh, of course. They, although my allies are now moving swiftly into their territory as well. Research completed. Garrison on Typhon has become infected. <sighs> Support for this will consider it for a rebellion. Minus fifteen. We you must quarantine them. Of course, I need a transport ship now. Everything always happens when I go to war. Every time. Intercept this fleet. Are they moving in to take out the station? Good. Not at the moment. Building slots plus one, I'll get that. My allegiances. Easy. Look at that in action. No might against our cruisers already. <laughs> Forces are gathering here now. Uh, okay, so technicians calling in speed. How long's targeting fuel will do? Our excavation of the separatists uh, uh, will lead into the inner vault. We've got treasures inside. Excellent. This is bad. Oh man, I forgot about the intervention. Oh dear. All because... See, this is what happens when we go to war. Everything gets forgotten like this. I just had this place settled up as well. Jesus Christ. Is there anything we can use to 
increased stability when it is very much needed. Any uh, actual structure or anything. Defensive armies, trade, anonymities. Nothing at the moment. I mean, I'm not sure what uh, features that we need to do decisions. I want to declare martial law then for the time being. Help increase stability. I can't believe I forgot about that. Oh, that's what happens when you're at war. Alright, well now our ground force, ground troop forces can commence. Incoming communication, Commander. More of their f more civilizations Imperial become receptive. Our surface assault has routed the enemy. Indeed. This world is conquered. Right, does my garrison stay on the planet's surface then? Surface assault was successful here, at least. Oh, no, that's us for surrender. Right, okay, I almost clicked that. I was like, hmm, surrender to us. No, 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 that's not how that works. Once the Federation's territory is secured for the Empire, who knows what we'll move into next. Moon Abyss and then their Brace study as well. So, tell me Typhon is getting better. It is a bit actually, slowly getting back up. But it will. can't believe I forgot about that, but you know, that's what happens. Sweet, a new asset in the Confederates. and now stay on the planet. I don't need all of them to surely stay on and keep order. We must defend our space station.
mean all this garrison down here. It's only 500 men. is really just when everything was getting all We're going to need maintenance better uh, man that nexus just plums into a bad crime world it looking like research completed All your independence is a bit too late west of the world. Now deploying it against the, with the Federation. Maybe because their forces have been completely wiped out now. They feel sorry for them, but it's too late now. They'll soon be brought into our fold. I don't need all of this garrison on this planet, can I not just disembark them? There we go. To the next world. The last of their stations are going down now. Time to take some hits though. And that acclimator really gets in there. <laughs> well, that's pretty much all of their systems secured now. We just have to conquer their planets. Which we will easily do. Transport en route. Especially if they're bombarding them. Jesus. Our ground forces have begun their assault. Oh, they did have quite a more on the their forces here actually, now that it looks like it. Oh, but we got backup. <laughs> oh yes. Pushing the Federation forces back. As predicted, our invasion has brought a new world into the fold. To the next world, then. On the same route that my ally seems to be doing. Excellent. So, what artifact did we grab her? Uh, better trade them monthly credits. Interesting. Nice. Nice. Permission granted. Land on platform three seven. Wow, every world is now being conquered. Pretty much. Federation Your will, will fall. Be wise in respecting. Surely the Federation must realize that it's over now. We'll soon have full occupation of their territories. We just need literally the Denon system down here. And that's it, really. I might think about moving my next target maybe towards or oh no. Unfortunately the huts protect them. No defensive pack for the given to Moseltros. Maybe they can be brought in next. No one guarantees their independence. Has gone to positive, excellent work. Talks. Everything in the 
that is the first Moffat requires. On top of that, he also runs multiple think tanks. He's reached out to us because he's in need of additional funding for some of those think tanks. Uh, sure. Take it, Tarkin. Funds have been redirected to his think tank as he thanks us. Uh, not at the moment while we're at war. We're going to need maintenance after this. Transport en route. Right, well, their forces are already engaged. Fighting back up then. Transport en route. Pretty much they've been conquered. Yep, that's it. Federation now serves us. They are still disloyal, then we shall integrate the subject when it is time. The Federation will be no more. But the Federation now serves the Empire, whether they must or not. <laughs> That's good. That's real good. When the time comes, we shall probably integrate them as well as part of our, if seeing as they're very uh, disloyal to us. So we'll just integrate them when the time comes. But the Federation is now under our control. No one can carry it. guarantees their independence anymore, do they? Hmm. Everywhere else is under defensive pacts. And the Zabrite Council is still at war with uh, the Dorans, unfortunately. This is a shame because I think the Zabrite Council would help us, it seems. Or well, Vaseline once we are able to. But the Federation has now been brought in. With the war over, we can withdraw our forces back. Upgrade and heal them if some ships need them. This fleet was damaged though, so maybe we should reinforce. Did they have some ships reinforce some fleets here? Yep. Maybe not, uh, for the meantime, because of our hyperfuel things, we don't need to get these ships back at the moment, we're kind of doing alright. So, Coralog has some unemployment going on here, fair enough. Get some extra facilities here. And the heavy vehicles facility is up and running as well, nice. Look different in the structure, that's a bit weird. But um, yeah, now that with the facility up, we can begin construction of more stuff. Uh, Rendili, I believe, had the um, thing. So what we'd have to do is construct the heavy vehicles factory here. So that our armies will be able to get better recruitment. We can use the light artilleries and hover tanks in that, so that'll be good. Tire strikers too. <laughs> the Corellian sector wants that I want next. They stand in our way next. So does the Kingdom of Alderaan. If we were to declare war, then uh, 
won't have all of them on us, or we can't afford that. But if we declare war on the... But if we declare war on these guys, then... Imperial scientists have new advancements to show us. The Karelian sector in the Kingdom of Orgon will be our next targets, but we need to prepare that better. We need to, we'll need to, once we're ready for that. Karelian Sector would be one to go for, but yeah, their alliances does not make it easy. We'd have to be prepared. Because our allies will come for us first. It's not really anywhere good we'll be able to produce some extra star bases and whatnot. Do you know what I mean? So, it's a bit tricky that one. Imperial scientists have new advancements to show us. Get some more fire, we're gonna need some more food up and running. Axiom is in need of more, okay. Let's have them we'll get that sorted. Trade value space port. We're in need of more food forces, food resources anyway, so. How go things at Typhon? Crime is still building up. We'll probably have to get a hollow theater soon for stability purposes. I hope that epidemic gets sorted out soon. Probably just start getting that now actually. It's a shame because the bloody thing he gets us good food. That's probably why our food is down. Yeah, because of that incident on Typhon. Hmm. That bit was most unfortunate. Imperial scientists have new advancements to show us. Over lasers, hyperdrive, ion cannons, encryption as well. Increase our turbo lasers, sure. Now we need to strike them, but the Zabrax are getting pretty bad, so I don't know what their uh, Dorian's is war thing would be. What if we declare war on them? No, they would have the banking glands and the uh, old Republic loyalists on their side. Fortunately. deal with the sector in time. But yeah. When that time will be, I'm not sure. Who else would could we target? Mm, that old run, but they're, they're protected, unfortunately. The rebels are subjected to those. The old one in Voy, as it is for let us be it's fifty snuff out the plot on for yes, yeah. That one again. Do we have relations with all the one? They're still hostile towards us. Are we improving their relations or then we have a spy network on here? Where's all my envoys? 
building a spy network would go on available, so they are harming our relations. Well, they wouldn't dare to declare war on us if they dare, you know, can stand against us, but I don't think they can. So, crime or food? Hmm. Crime or food outputs? Yeah, we'll keep crime down and then enmities up. Oh no, there's kyber crystal stuff on Typhon. Our latest construction project is finished. When will this epi when will the thing is when will the virus go? When will we get an opportunity to do that again at least? <sighs> oh yeah, well of course we still have a thingy to do. There is still a of archaeological site over here actually. We have the access to build more stations, so I'll get one at Balmora and Carida to help with defenses in case of Alderaan tries anything. Even better defenses against this force here will do well. Um, what else? Who knows? I'll keep that for going for now, for the time being. Imperial scientists have new advancements to show us. I would like to put. I should put like a station down here or something. So I don't know where. Agora might be a good location actually. Oh, we the Zillow Beast. Wow, what the hell? The Zillow Beast was a Gungandra and Kravali for you. Oh yeah, that course. The Zillow Beast known for its armor, which uh, every own ship Zillow Beast infuse on modifier, gaming additional hit points. Nice. We managed to crack the Zillow Beast's code. Well, oh, it's an uh, armor thing, so that that's awesome. Are they still at battle? They kind of are actually, aren't they? They cannot break them though, it seems. Sure. We'll need us some spy networks to help try and sabotage relations and that. have very, it's very hard difficulties already. <sighs> Privateers, maybe that might be a good one as well, so... Maybe we should have like move our spy networks to uh, other planets, other ones closer by, like the Alderaan and Corellian forces. To try and learn what they are after, maybe. wish we could save the Zabrak Council as well. So is there anybody else who would, is starting to become loyal to us or not? Wow, well, 
they have become very disloyal. Well, the Black Sun, I'm not surprised. Council we will come to assist once they're at war once their war has ended. But until then we'll just have to wait. If they submit to us by becoming a vassal. Nice. So they'll be able we'd be able to vassal them. But these guys are disloyal, so that's mm -hmm. I don't know why we can't establish embassy at this planet. Mandalore is also something to be keeping an eye on. Their forces. Worry about us, though. I'd have to see their fleet powers in that. Put Mandalore under imperial rule, perhaps. Maybe the Mandalorians are a good next target. We're unsure of the Hapen's forces as well, not to mention that actually. The Kingdom of Zeltros is not allied with anybody, they could be another good target next. The Onderon forces are here, but we can. Wait, what? We can demand the Kingdom of Onderon's vassalization? Really? Would they be loyal to us, though? Well, I say if the option is there, because... I mean, we can't see why they want to, but for some reason, because we don't have that much intelligence. But, I mean, if the opportunity is there, same with the era to authority, and bring them into the fold, then I don't see why not. Kingdom of Zeltros may be an even easier target because of this as well, actually. So, we'll demand their vassalization then. As well as that from the Eudu Authority. Bring them, bring these guys completely into the fold. Our builders have completed their assignments. Good, and so are they. Yeah, I'll keep the one out of Balmore going up just because and I'll definitely have at least two for the time being to protect Balmore said the Kingdom of Alderaan comes attacking. More forces are now come under Imperial rule. The Zabrak Council we shall assist once we have just the opportunity to. Get a trade hub here as well and a gun battery. I upgrade that too. Oh, they are now at peace. That's good. Made peace. Zab is forced to adopt the ethics of their Commonwealth. <sighs> Does that mean that they will not be loyal to us? The thing is going down because of it. Because they had to adopt their ways. Ah, that is most unfortunate. Mutual threats. We'll have to work to keep it up. We'll start with the non aggression pact. We'll have to work to uh, regain our, our ways for them. Mm -hmm. 
I haven't really seen much of the Hutt's territory here, actually, down for now. Even like Tatooine down in that sector or something, I don't know. <laughs> a bit more receptive at the very least. We still have an envoy to use for our spy networks and whatnot. Although intelligence is now growing thanks to uh, what's on this side here. So, that's not too bad. We'll need more better intelligence from the Kingdom of Onderon. Well, they got brought into the fold regardless, but they might try and change that. Everywhere else is forming allegiances. Zeltros is down there. How, why are they down there? Well, that would be annoying how I'd have to declare war and uh, bloody do that. I think I'll need to start getting up some more envoys and set up more spying operations across the galaxy and find out what it is to um, try and uh, find out what is best suited against whatever enemies are next. Soon we'll also start getting up our Galactic New Order and see what comes across that. We're getting closer to the opportunity time which I think it might be best to do set uh, battles and that, so, but not until our sectors are fully secured, we'd have to upgrade our station there more, deal with these uh, forces right on our doorstep, the Kingdom of Alderaan and the Karelian sector of security. Definitely those ones we must deal with. We cannot have anything like that on our doorstep, and I think I might just like claim their territory, not just bring them into the fold, but actually claim them as my, as my own stuff, you know, that's probably what maybe be best for it. But um, yeah, this was a successful war against the Federation. I will integrate them because they are very disloyal against us when the time comes, which will probably be in a couple years actually. 2256 and not too far off, so. Oh, another freaking virus. Is always something. All right, I'll deal with this virus then. I need a new scientist actually for Here this ship. Of recent events for your perusal. You know, experience and on me research. Be go. I'll deal with the virus. Yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna end this video here because I think this long enough as it is. We did a lot of stuff. More forces are now coming into our galactic empire. Some are starting to get a little bit disloyal in some places. Oh, these guys have gone up, but yeah. But, um, yeah, we'll, f we'll ensure galactic peace soon. Maybe we should, we'll, I might go f I might go for Mandalore forces or the Hapes or maybe Zeltros soon. They, uh, uh, of the outbreak, uh, good, barely got far further. Um, I will want to deal with the Corellian security forces as well as the Kingdom of Alderaan because of how close they are. Set if.
by opportunity they would become hostile against the Emperor. So they will be targets of opportunity once once the opportunity arrives. But we'll need to break apart their defensive pacts with the other forces. The Botham clans, actually, yeah. The Botham clans have a lot of stuff. If we can break apart the Botham clans, then that will be good. I can then claim territory against these factions, launch a war against the Carillion Sector, specifically them, not the Kingdom of Alderaan. Because if I do that, then I drag them into the war. But if I declare war on these guys, then that's that. So that's a good idea. We'll need to break apart their defensive pact with the Boffin clans, so I'll probably set up my spy network against these guys, trying to see if I can have an opportunity to do that. So that'll be my next target. So yeah, that'll be my plan. It might take a while though, so maybe we shall invade somewhere else in the meantime, but that just depends. But um, yeah, that, I'm going to end things there. So thank you all so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next video. May the force be with you. Goodbye.